All right, K1, the last strategy for subtraction that I am going to teach you is, the call, is called the counting up strategy. And that will make sense when I explain it to you in a minute. Okay, so um, this strategy is still used for subtraction. You will still see the minus sign. Okay. Um, and our answer is still going to be less than the number that we started with. Okay. This is a very different strategy. So if it's a little tricky at first, just keep practicing. Okay, so we're gonna get started. So we're gonna read out this number sentence and then we're gonna try our counting up strategy. So eight minus three equals mm. So what's tricky about this is we're not gonna take jumps backwards. We're not gonna cross things out. We're gonna be doing this in our head. And usually we've been starting on this bigger number. This time we're gonna start on the smaller number, okay? So I want you to first circle the smaller number. That's a number that you are gonna put in your head. We're going to start on three and we are going to count up until we get to eight. Okay, so we're going to put it in our head. Three. I like to touch my head when I do this just so I remember I'm putting it in my head. I don't count three on my fingers though. Okay, so I just put three in my head. Three. I'm going to count up until I get to eight. Ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every number I say, I'm putting up a finger, okay? So that means that I started at three, I counted up to eight, and there were five numbers between three and eight. The number that's on my finger, so I have one, two, three, four, five fingers up, that's my answer. So eight minus three equals five. I can check to see if this is right by using a number line or drawing pictures. So I'm just gonna draw a picture really quick just so we can check so you can see that this gives us the same answer. If I was drawing a picture, I would go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I started with eight. I'm going to take three away. One, two, three. And then I have one, two, three, four, five left over. So both strategies got us the same answer. You might be wondering why am I going to try this new strategy when it's kind of hard and maybe a little bit confusing. But the reason why we want to learn this strategy is for when our numbers get a lot bigger, right? If it's pretty easy to draw, to draw eight of something, to draw eight dots, but what if my question was 48 minus three? Would it be very easy to count, to draw out 48 dots? No, that would take a long time. So this strategy is actually better for when you have bigger numbers, but we're gonna practice it first with smaller numbers. So here's our next problem. Um, let's read it out loud together. Four minus zero equals mm. You might know this answer right off, right away. We're gonna still try our new strategy just as some practice, okay? So remember with a new strategy, instead of starting on our first number, we're actually starting with our smaller number, okay? So we're gonna start, and I'm gonna circle my smaller number. That's the number I'm gonna put it inside my head. Circling it helps me remember because it kind of looks like I put it inside of a head. So I'm gonna put zero in my head and I'm gonna count up 
on my fingers until I get to the bigger number, okay? So let's try it together, ready? Zero, one, two, three, four. My answer is on my fingers, okay? So I have one, two, three, four. Four minus zero equals four. I think you guys are doing a really nice job. This is a hard thing to learn because it's very different from our other um, subtraction strategies. I'm gonna write one more up and let's keep giving it a try. So we have our up and down subtraction now. We still start at the top and read down, ready? Six minus four equals, mm. so again, I'm going to circle my, yeah, smaller number. So six or four, which one is smaller? Yep, four, so I'm gonna circle four. The other number is the number I'm counting up to, okay? Four goes in my head, four, five, six. The number that I'm showing on my fingers tells me the answer. So this is one, two. Six minus four equals two. If you're ever not sure, you can always use a different strategy to check your answer, right? So I can draw six, and I can take four away and see how many I have left over. Six minus four equals two. Okay, we're gonna try a few more together. All right, let's read this one. I'm gonna have you read this one. Yeah, seven minus two equals, mm. okay. Which number am I going to put, uh, am I gonna circle? Yeah, I'm gonna circle my smaller number. So I'm gonna circle two. I'm gonna put two in my head. And then what number am I gonna count up to? Where am I gonna stop? Yep, I'll stop at seven. Okay, so let's put two in our heads. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count how many did I have on my fingers? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so seven minus two equals five. All right, we're gonna try one last one together. Um, please read it as I point it out. Okay, you should have said nine minus six equals. Mm. So the first thing that I want to do is, you can tell me now if you know, I'm gonna circle a number, which one? Yeah, I'm gonna circle my smaller number, which is six, okay? Six is gonna go in my head and I'm gonna start counting up, right? This is a counting up strategy. Um, and I'm gonna stop when I get to what number? Gonna stop when I get to nine. All right, so let's put six in our heads. Let's count up and we're gonna stop at nine. All right, I stopped at nine. Let's see how many fingers I have up. I have three, so nine minus six equals three. 
Nice job. I know I said that this was going to be really tricky and I feel like you've done a really nice job. So why don't you guys give me a thumbs up if you feel pretty good about this. Give me a thumbs to the side if you feel like, yeah, I couldn't use some more practice. Or give me a thumbs down if you're still thinking that this is really hard. I hope that most of you are giving me a thumbs to the side or a thumbs up. If you're giving me a thumbs down, that's okay too. We're gonna just keep practicing, okay? Right now, I am going to hold up some extra questions for you to practice on. Please freeze the video so you have time to write the questions down and give them a try. Um, after you answer them, you can play the video again and then I'll show you the answers so you can check to see if you got the right ones. If you didn't get the right answer, no big deal. We all make mistakes. You can just try that question again and see if you can get the right answer the second time. All right, so here we go. Go ahead and pause the video. And here are all the answers. So go ahead and check your answers. See if you got the same ones as me. Um, if you didn't, try them again. And I hope you get them right the second time.